Okay, hello and welcome to Finder Film, a podcast about movies, TV shows, and all kinds of entertainment, young and old. I'm your host, Olivia Smarangin, and this is the first episode of Finder Film. And today we're going to be discussing lots of different topics. We'll be talking about movies that are coming out soon, movies that are out right now, and also TV shows that are coming soon. So I'm super excited This since this is our first episode. I have my microphone right here, so I'm recording my voice. So if you don't have time to watch the video or you don't want to see this beautiful face, um, you can listen to this on SoundCloud um, or on the Bearing News webpage, and then you can also watch the video if you feel like it. If you are watching the video, you'll see I'm going to put a bunch of little what's it called? <laughs> Images right here uh, of the different shows and stuff for you guys to see. But besides that, I say we should get into it. So first up, I wanted to talk about some films that are coming out soon. So first up is on December 19th, Mary Poppins Returns. So I know I am pumped for this movie. I absolutely love Mary Poppins more than you could ever imagine. It was one of my favorite Disney movies as a kid. And knowing that Emily Blunt is going to be playing Mary Poppins and Lin-Manuel Miranda is going to be playing, oh my gosh, I can never remember his character's name. Um, I'm getting all of my information, obviously, off of um, Jack. That's the same. I knew Jack. I knew that. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Anyways, but I'm getting all my information today off of IMDb. So all of the movies, shows, and anything that I talk about will be linked down in the description below for you to see. Um, if you don't already know what they are, but I am so excited for this movie. I think it's going to be so good. Um, and if you don't know what Mary Poppins is about, or maybe you don't know what the second movie is going to be about, here's a little description, just like a sentence. It says, decades after her original visit, the magical nanny returns to help the bank siblings and Michael's children through a difficult time in their lives. Sounds like a blast to me, and I literally cannot wait for it to come out. Um, December 21st is a big weekend for the box office. So one of the first movies coming out um, December 21st is Aquaman. Um, somebody who loves DC Comics, I am so excited for this movie. I have been waiting for it since they released the first trailer. Um, and Arthur Curry was in Justice League. I am pumped. So the movie itself, the Description says that Arthur Curry learns that he is the heir to the underwater kingdom of Atlantis and must step forward to lead his people and be a hero to the world. So I'm really, really excited for this. Jason Momoa is a fantastic actor and I think he does a really, really good job um, playing Aquaman in a way that we've never seen before. Um, and I'm sure that this movie is going to have lots of different twists and turns that are going to be really exciting. So make sure you come out and see this on December 21st. And that's just the first of a few. So another one coming out on December 21st is Bumblebee. Um, I watched all of the Transformers movies as a kid and I can't wait to see this too. Um, it is starring Haley Steinfeld. Um, she's only been in a few stuff. She's actually a really good musician. I saw her this summer. I went to a Charlie Puth concert, um, and she opened up for the for him, and um, it was really good. And so I'm excited to see her in more stuff. I think stuff that she's previously been in is like, um, like Pitch Perfect, or um, oh my gosh, Barely Lethal. I think she was in that with uh, Sam L. Jackson, which was really good. I liked that. Um, but yeah, so she's in this too, and. The description reads, on the run in the year of 1987, I can't read English, I apologize, <laughs> Bumblebee finds a refuge in a junkyard in a small Californian beach town. Charlie, on the cusp of turning 18 and trying to find her place in the world, discovers Bumblebee, battle-scarred and broken. Um, all of the trailers for this look really good, and I'm very, very excited to see it. Um, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a good change um, for the Transformers series because they've had so many different movies and this last one was like didn't have that great of a fan base so I'm really hoping that things go better for um, the Transformer <laughs> Transformer series in the future so make sure you check out Bumblebee on December 21st next up on December 21st is a movie that I'm also very excited I'm just very excited about all the movies today um, is Welcome to Marwin which is starring uh, Steve Carell and I love him. I've loved him since The Office. Um, I love him in anything he's ever been in. He's hilarious. And I think that this story is really different from what he usually does because he usually plays quite the comedic character. Um, but in this, he's playing a victim of a brutal attack. And he finds this unique way and like beautiful therapeutic outlet um, to help him through his recovery process after the attack. 
and there's a bunch of amazing strong powerful women who are cast in this let me see if I can read off a few here Diane Kruger, um, Isa Gonzalez, I'm probably going to mess with all of these, Leslie Mann, Gwendolyn Christie, Mary Weaver, or Weber, Janelle Monet, love her, um, <laughs> Siobhan Williams, Leslie Zemeckis, I'm really just trying my best here, but all of this looks really good, and they kind of play these, like, um, anchors of support for him and I think it's gonna be really great I think it's different than anything he's ever done before and the movie has lots of hype so I think it's gonna be really good and I'm excited to watch it so welcome to Marwin is what it's called it'll be out December 21st and then I think the last of our December 21st films um, is Holmes and Watson which I am so excited for because it stars two of my favorite actors um, John C. Riley and Will Ferrell they are so funny oh my gosh I remember watching Will Ferrell and Anchorman and all that stuff when I was younger um, Talladega Nights and like loving him and all that because he's just so funny um, and then John C. Riley. I actually don't remember watching a John C. Riley movie until I watched Chicago the Musical, which he was in, and I remember like loving him in that. Um, and they're both just so funny. So the description for the movie reads, a humorous take on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's classic mysteries featuring Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. So I think this is going to be great. <laughs> I think it's going to be really funny. Um, from all the trailers and stuff that I've seen so far, it looks pretty hilarious to me. So I'm kind of excited. Not kind of. I am very excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this also comes out December 21st. So <laughs> you are going to be in the movie theaters for quite a while if you have any interest in any of these movies. Um, and you're going to be re really big spender at the box office uh, the week of December 21st. So last movie... I have on my list of coming soon um, is December 25th Merry Christmas um, <laughs> it's on the basis of sex uh, with Felicity Jones so if you watched if you watched um, Rogue One and you absolutely loved her as much as I did I would 10 out of 10 recommend watching this this is the story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and her struggle for equal rights and what she had to overcome um, in order to become a US Supreme Court justice which I think is really cool and I think Felicity plays the part amazing um, I have been watching the trailers for this for a couple months now and I am absolutely obsessed and cannot wait to see it I think it's gonna be so good um, and yeah, it also has uh, Army Hammer in it and Steven Root, both amazing actors. Um, and I think this is going to be a really, a really good step for some girl power um, in 2018, especially in the last month of 2018. So yeah, so that's it for the rest of our coming soon movies. Make sure you check all of those out. Um, on top of that, I have some movies that are out right now. So first movie that's out right now is... The is Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I actually haven't, this is where I fall short. I actually haven't seen the first Fantastic Beasts movie. Um, I am a Harry Potter fan, so like don't, you know, attack me or anything. But um, I have yet to see um, the first one. So, I heard it's really good. Um, the second one has a 7 out of 10 rating on IMDb, which is, I think is really good. Um, the description reads, basically, it's really vague, the description. It basically just says, the second installment of, fan of the Fantastic Beast series um, featuring the adventures of Magizoologist, oh, I totally, I totally wrecked that, um, Newt Scamander. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't hate me for how I pronounced those. Um, yeah, so this obviously has Johnny Depp in it, um, Eddie Redmayne, Zoe Kravitz, and, and all of these fantastic actors and actresses, um, and I'm sure it's fantastic. Um, if you had your opinions, if you've already seen it and you've had some opinions on it, good or bad, please leave them below, um, so people can check them out. Obviously, I don't have a lot to say because I don't know that much about it, but I figured I'd bring it up because, uh, it is pretty popular right now. Um, as far as other movies that are out, Bohemian Rhapsody has been out for a while now, um, and it has gotten lots of hype, um, and I feel like it's done really well in the box office, so it has an 8.4 out of 10, um, on the IMDb scale, which is really cool, 
Um, it stars, oh my gosh, Rami, I feel like it has to be Rami, Rami Malek. Um, love him. He was in Mr. Robot. He's a fantastic actor. And lots of other actors and actresses who are really talented. Um, I've heard really good things about this. It, I feel like it really tells the story of, you know, Queen and um, Freddie Mercury really well. And basically, the description for this one just reads, A Chronicle of the Years Leading Up to Queen's Legendary Appearance at the Live Aid Concert, um, which is in 1985. And, yeah, I think I have only heard really good things about it. I have not seen it yet. I'm really bad about getting into the movies, um, especially during November and December when school gets really busy. So, hopefully, over Christmas break, I will be in and out of the movie theater very, very often. Um... But yeah, so I would highly suggest seeing this. Uh, a friend was telling me that he saw it the other day and the Live Aid scene uh, came on and he literally started crying because he was just so emotional. But he really likes Queen. So if you like Queen as much as he does, or I do, um, I would highly suggest going to see it. Okay, so we have two more movies on our Out Right Now list. So our next one is Ralph Breaks the Internet, which is... I haven't seen any of these, and I feel so bad that I haven't seen any of them, but I just never have time, um, but I really want to see this one. I absolutely love Disney with my entire heart, and I love the first uh, Wreck-It Ralph movie, and I feel like this one is just going to be so much good, so much better. I'm going to say gooder. Oof, that English is really good today. Um, <laughs> so this one has a 7.6 out of 10 on the IMDb scale, which is nice and high. Um, it's doing well. Uh, and the description reads for this one, Six years after the events of Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph and Vanellope, now friends, discover a Wi-Fi router in their arcade, leading them into a new adventure. Which it sounds like a blast to me. Um, the first movie did really well. I mean, I don't see why this one wouldn't either. It's obviously got a high rating. Looks like a blast to me. Um, I really need to go see it because I love these movies so much. Um, and the first movie was so good. So I would highly suggest going out and see that before it leaves the theaters. And last up in our Out Right Now um, category is uh, Creed 2. So this stars Michael B. Jordan himself. Um, he plays Creed so well. Um, basically, he... So the, the description for this says that under the tutelage of Rocky Balboa, heavyweight contender Adonis, Adon, or Adonis, sorry, Creed faces off against Victor Drago, son of Ivan Drago. I don't know if I'm saying any of those names correctly. If I'm not, please don't hate me. I'm trying my best. I'm not that talented. Um, anyways, uh, I have heard great things about this movie. This movie has a 7.9, um, out of 10 on the IMDb scale, which is really high, um, considering that the first movie did really well and the fact that a sequel is doing so well, obviously it must be really good. Um, I've heard really great things about this movie. Um, I don't think it could be bad. I mean, it's a classic fight movie. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in seeing that, I would highly suggest going out to see that soon before it leaves theaters. But that pretty much closes up our Out Right Now series, which is really exciting. Um, I keep saying that to everything. I'm just really pumped today. Everything is really exciting. <laughs> okay, so last up in our TV movie Out Right Now Coming Soon series is the Coming Soon to TV uh, most of our contenders on the list today are Netflix shows. So, um, the third season of F is for Family, which is a show on Netflix, is coming out November 30th. Um, and I've heard really good things about that, so make sure you check that out. Um, Fuller House season four is going to be out on December 13th. That's really exciting and fun and great <laughs> um one that I am so excited for that I literally just watched a trailer for the other day because it was on um Instagram TV um is a series of unfortunate events and it's coming out January 1st season three the last season um if you love Neil Patrick Harris at all you have to watch it it's so good um I read all the books as a kid and I love them so much so I absolutely fell in love with the TV series um, and then last up, if you are a reality TV fan, season seven of uh, Vanderpump Rules comes out December 3rd. I have a friend of mine from dance that absolutely loves Vanderpump Rules. So shout out to her because I know she's going to really enjoy this uh, seventh season. So get all your drama, Phil, right there. But that's pretty much it for TV shows that are coming out um, in the next month or so. And I wanted to do a special little 
thing um, since <laughs> the year is kind of wrapping up, I wanted to talk about movie anniversaries. So I picked 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and 30 years ago, and 50 years ago, oh my goodness, um, I found three movies from each year uh, that are celebrating anniversaries this year. So for 10 years ago, um, on June 6th, Kung Fu, Kung, Kung Fu Panda, I can, like I said, I cannot speak English today. Kung Fu Panda celebrated its 10 year anniversary along with Wally -E on June 27th and Iron Man on May 2nd, which blows my mind. That's the first Iron Man. I feel like that was a year ago <laughs> that I was watching the first Iron Man and now we're already on what the process of making the second Infinity War. What the heck? This is crazy. Time passes by way too fast. Uh, for 20 years, The Big Lebowski has <laughs> uh, celebrated its 20-year anniversary on March 6th, The Truman Show on June 5th, and A Bug's Life on November 25th. That one's actually pretty recent. Um, I thought all of that was really cool. I love The Truman Show. I remember watching that with my mom when I was younger um, and just loving Jim Carrey. I mean, how could you not love Jim Carrey? He's so funny. Um, 30 years celebrating on March 30th was Beetlejuice. I know. I love that movie so much. It's like my go-to Halloween movie. I watch that every year. Um, Die Hard celebrated its 30th anniversary on July 15th. And then one of my all-time favorite, favorite Looney Tunes movies, um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, celebrated its 30-year anniversary on June 22nd. That makes me feel old and I'm 18. That came out a while before I was born and it makes me feel old because I watch that all the time as a kid and if you think that makes you feel old lastly we have our 50 year anniversaries which blows my mind um <laughs> this year 2001 a space odyssey celebrated its 50 year 50th year anniversary um as, along with funny girl and chitty chitty bang bang which blows my mind because surprisingly i have seen all of those movies and enjoyed them thoroughly <laughs> um so yeah so if that doesn't make you feel old i don't know what does um no matter how old you are <laughs> but that's pretty much it for today's podcast like i said earlier all of the movies um tv shows and everything uh, that i mentioned today in the podcast will be linked down below in the description for you to check out um i'm trying to think if there's anything else Nope. If you guys enjoyed this uh, podcast, make sure you subscribe and like, and I will see y'all next time.